Hello, my name is Alastair Henderson. I'm a senior landscape designer at Aurelia, and this is the first in a short series of documentary style vlogs which we're going to be bringing to you over the next couple of months. Um, and it's going to be focused around getting a bit of a fly on the wall perspective of the construction of one of our gardens. Um, it's a small courtyard garden here in the heart of Essex, and we're going to be following progress through from site clearance to paving, to planting, to lighting, all of these things so that you the viewers can get a bit of a further understanding as to what goes into building a garden like this. Um, I'm on site at the moment, I've just had a pre-start meeting with the electrician and the contractors and the clients, um, just so that everyone knows what they're doing and where, where, where everything is getting started, uh, to make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, that's all gone according to plan, so looking to start in the next couple of weeks. Um, it should be quite an exciting build. One of the questions I get asked most commonly is, uh, is what kind of gardens do you do? Which is uh, quite a broad question to answer actually. So I thought it could actually be broken down into quite a few sub-questions. The first of which being is, what do the gardens look like before you, uh, before you make a start in them? So um, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an idea of the, of the context of this site and the property itself, you can see in the background. Um, the house is quite an old property, it dates back to the 14th century, uh, it's grade 2 listed. Um, and the clients are actually just doing some renovation works to the interior. Uh, they've taken down an old um, PVC looking conservatory and replaced it with a beautiful new oak one. Um, and as such it was quite a good time for the, the garden to be, to be done after the, um, after the building works had finished because naturally they, leave, they tend to leave the, the site in quite a bit of a state. Um, so let's kind of have a little walk around the courtyard area um, and see the bit which is going to be transformed the most. So right here on top of the scaffolding um, and you can start to get a sense of the scale of the property. Uh, the garden in question that we're doing is the courtyard garden, it's part of a Part of a large garden but it's the immediate sort of space outside uh, the main family rooms um, and when the clients bought the property a couple of years ago uh, the garden wasn't really functioning in the way that they needed to not to mention the fact that it had fallen into a bit of a, a state of disrepair um, now you can see that probably someone at some point did invest some time and money into this garden um, there's a lot of hard standing brick edged pathways there was a, a box parterre with david austin David Austin Rosie was planted in the centre, so you can see that someone gave it a lot of time and time and attention. Um, but it's got to a state now where it needs to be done, um, and it needs to be brought up to standard in keeping with the uh, with the line of the renovation works inside the house. So hopefully this has given you a bit of a, a brief introduction to the project and the site. Um, we're due to start in a couple of weeks' time, and we look forward to seeing some progress being made. So hopefully it should look a lot different next time you see it.